This is Safety Helper Hand. Let's have a look at it, shall we? If someone needed help or wanted to talk about their feelings, any feelings at all, like happy, sad, safe or scared, they can talk to a grown-up, can't they? And special grown-ups are called safety helpers. We've got some pictures here of lots of different safety helpers. Can you think of any special grown-ups in your life who could be safety helpers? I'm going to choose this one here. Let's have a look at it. Looks like it could be a grandparent, doesn't it? Do you have a grandparent that you can talk to? Maybe they're called grandma or grandpa, or nonno, nonna, oma, opa. Grandparents can be called different things. I'm going to put this grandparent up here as one of our safety helpers. Hmm, I'm going to pick this picture here. Who do you think this is? Looks like it could be a teacher or someone in a childcare centre, doesn't it? Grown-ups at school or at playgroup can be really good safety helpers and we can talk to them if we need help to feel safe. I'm going to put this picture on this finger here. Who could you talk to if you had a question about private body parts or needed help looking after them? Hmm, I'm going to pick this picture here. Hmm. Have a look at this. This could be a picture of a mum or a dad or a carer, couldn't it? Maybe it's a grown-up that looks after you at home. They could be a really good person to talk to about private body parts or even public body parts for that matter. I'm going to stick them on this finger here. There we go. Who else can we add to our hand? We need to remember that safety helpers are grown-ups that we can talk to who can help us to feel safe. Okay. Who's this here? Hmm. Looks like it could be another relative, couldn't it? Maybe it's an auntie. Or maybe you have an uncle that you can talk to as well. They might not live with you, but they'll still listen to you and they'll help you feel safe. Okay. One more finger left. Ah, yes. Who have we got here? Can you tell who this person is? We can tell by what they're wearing, can't we? Looks like a police officer, doesn't it? The police can be safety helpers too. Stick her there. Do you know the phone number to call if you need to call the police if you are feeling very, very scared? It's zero, zero, zero. That's easy to remember, isn't it? <laughs> We can call the police if we ever are in need of help or in an emergency and we don't feel safe. Who do you think might be the people on your safety hand? Will they be a grandparent? Will they be a teacher? Will they be a parent or a carer? Maybe they'll be an auntie or an uncle. Maybe they'll be the police. Each of our safety hands will look a little bit different depending on the adults that we have in our lives. All the people on our safety hand are here to help. You might like to make your own safety help hand. Who do you think your safety helpers will be? It's really important to listen to your feelings and your body clues and talk to your safety helpers if you don't feel safe. Or even if you haven't felt safe in the past and you want to tell someone now. It's not your fault if you don't feel safe. It's the job of grown-ups to make sure that you are okay. Don't give up. Keep talking until a grown-up helps you. That's what your safety helpers are there for.